Hey YouTube, Wes here, checking in with something a bit different today. Today we are talking about DAPs, digital audio players. Uh, I just recently got a new one in, very new to the market, and I'm pretty excited about it. Wanted to share it with you all, let you know about it, and give you my first thoughts, impressions. Uh, do, go ahead and do an unboxing of it. And this DAP is from Hibby, a new to the market kind of company, even though they've been sort of in the background uh, many, many years designing interfaces for other other companies uh, digital players uh, they're really good at interface design and they have just recently got into creating their own line of uh, digital audio players uh, and they recently did a kickstarter for a newer sort of lower end pro player uh, the hibby r3 and that's a, it's a uh, smaller player it's it's uh, not android based it has its own operating system that's designed by hibby uh, it's a 3.2 inch touchscreen. It does a lot of things. It's a Swiss Army knife of a digital audio player. Uh, it can be used as a, a DAC. It can be used as a headphone amp. It can stream Bluetooth both ways. It has wireless uh, built in, so you can stream from, uh, right now only it streams from Tidal. You can do uh, a lot of different things with this. It has a really nice ESS DAC in it. I'll go ahead and uh, share with you some of the specifications here real quick. Uh, yeah, ESS 9028G2M DAC from ESS, Bluetooth 4.1 both ways, Aptex, 3.2 inch touchscreen, uh, supports DSD files, which is awesome. That's something I'll talk about. Um, the player I have been using for the past year and a half it does not support DSD file. This is going to be an upgrade for me. It does AirPlay, 802.11 BG and N wireless. It does have a, uh, a balanced output. If you have balanced drivers, uh, balanced in-ear monitors kind of thing, it does support those. It supports up to 64-bit, uh, 384 kilohertz files. Uh, does all your big name sort of lossless files. It supports Apple lossless files, which is very important to me personally. Very small, as I said, touchscreen should be a really nice device. It's going to retail for $230, uh, so a pretty reasonably priced player. Uh, go ahead and quickly show you here. This is the player I have been using up till now for the past year and a half. This is a, uh, a Fio X, X1 player Mark II logo on the back uh, and this is a really nice entry-level kind of digital audio player really nice uh, amp and DAC in here for the price you're gonna get this for right under a hundred dollars supports a lot you know your, all your flack this supports Apple uh, Apple lossless as well which is nice does does nice things as I said it does not support DSD files um, and it's kind of an older design of a digital audio player you know you have just your physical buttons here and, and a sort of a, a a, a capacitive sort of scroll wheel here, but a nice player nonetheless. And, it, and it's, 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 been, it's been a good experience as far as uh, the sound quality and the portability. And uh, I've really enjoyed it, but I'm looking for something that does a little bit more. I'm sort of into gadgets. So I like the idea of having a touch screen, having bigger, bigger album art because the album art on here shows up. It doesn't really fit really well on this screen. And it, it's kind of a, a lower quality screen in here. So uh, that's the Fio X1. As I said, I've been using this for about a year and a half. Really nice player. If you want to sort of get your feet wet, give give a high-end digital audio player a try. This is this is a great way to go in my opinion. And as I said, keeping it cheap, I'm not, I don't, I have my money invested in these records back here. You know, I don't invest a lot of money in digital stuff, but I like to have quality, you know, a certain level of quality. So that's what these are, these players are offering me. Uh, but these are the uh, KZ ZST in-ear monitors. I really like these. Uh, the KZ has very affordable line of in-ear monitors. I've tried a few of them now. I really like these ZSTs a lot. Got the upgraded silver cable on it. Really nice uh, in-ear monitors. Uh, also for, uh, uh, you know, over-ear sort of headphones. I got these from, these are stage right uh, on-ear headphones. I got these through Monoprice. Really comfortable, really good sounding pair of headphones. I've got several sets of, of cheaper uh, on-ear monitors from from mono price if mono price has a lower priced uh on ear monitor on ear headphone kind of thing i've probably tried it but i have i have several of them and uh, i really enjoy playing with those so let's go ahead and get into the meat of this uh thing let's get this r3 unboxed and check it out and give you my first impressions of it 
Oh, so this did just arrive at my doorstep yesterday. I believe I'm one of the first people to get this as far as the uh, actual Kickstarter backers. Uh, there's been some confusion as far as the shipping on these. Uh, the, there, there was offered a uh, leather case that was offered as part of one of the, the add-on items with this. And uh, I chose not to get that, even though I do use a leather case on my Fio X1. And I figure I'll probably eventually get a leather case for this, but I don't need it to, to start off with, so I did not get that as an add-on. So the people that did have that added on, it, their, their shipping was delayed because there was a, a problem with the design on that, and they had to redo those. Okay, so just a plain brown box. Open this up. Let's see what we got here. There's what you get. Pretty plain, as I said, pretty... <laughs> Pretty plain experience. Pull this out. Okay, so the first thing you have here is a carrying case. It does have the Hibby logo on it. Uh, there's also a plastic uh, outer case that they added on as a goal for reaching for reaching a certain level of sales through the Kickstarter project. This is just a clear outer case. This will just help help me protect it until I can get the leather case some point when I've decided I want to keep this so that's uh, that was one of the bonus uh, items um, so here is the Hibby R3 itself uh, sort of a retail kind of packaging looks really nice and one of the things they did to sort of do some cost cutting on this is that it does not have any built-in memory so I'm gonna have to use uh, like like the Fio X1 here you have to use uh, a micro SD card which is not a problem it's the way I would rather it be rather than have internal memory and try to have to transfer stuff back and forth. I like a card that I can just move around uh, between computers and players and all kinds of things like that. Slide this out, just slides right off there. Nicely designed embossed box. Open this up. Foam insert in here. Go ahead and throw that there. All right, so there's the there's the presentation in the box. First thing you see here is the player. So we'll go ahead and pull the player out of here. Um, okay, does have a nice feel to it. Nice heft to it. Uh, nice size. Screen protector, it tells you what all the buttons. This has nice physical buttons on the sides, which is really nice. You know, you get volume, play, pause, forward and back. And there's the, there's the R3 next to the Fio X1. So about the same thickness, I would say, a uh, little bit smaller overall, as far as the, the height. The width is about the same, I would say, a little bit, a little bit wider on the R3. The, the Fio is still in its case. So let's see what other kind of items we have in the bottom here. Start with this little little black box here. I think this might be the uh, USB uh, 3 cord, and that's what it is, or USB-C. So this is my first USB-C device, uh, which is nice. These uh, USB-Cs can be plugged in either way, like the lightning cable on my on my iPhone. Uh, so that's that's really nice. I, you can't stand those micro USB plugs. You have to figure out which way it's going, and they always feel like they're going to break when you put them in. They're so fragile. Uh, so this will be nice to have USB-C. Uh, so that's the that's the cable. Next thing I got here, they have uh, they actually did two different uh, outer cases. This is the white one. The one I showed you before was a clear clear plastic. So I'm going to do white or clear plastic. So there's the white case. Uh, just a snap-on plastic case. This one has more of a matte finish to it, so it's a little less slippery than the than the clear one will probably be. But uh, one more box here. It has the Hibby logo on it. Don't remember what exactly this is. Maybe just some instructions and screen protector. There's your little instruction booklet kind of thing. Warranty information, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, two more. Feels like a glass screen protector and a plastic screen protector. I think maybe uh, the glass one goes on the front and the, the plastic goes on the back. Uh, but I believe this probably already has some applied to it. Uh, and also as well, some high res audio stickers that you can stick on 
stick on the device itself or wherever it's up to you uh, so let's get this this uh, peeled off plug it in and see what it sounds like and it already does have screen protectors applied to it really nice glass back on this I really like it. it's a really beautiful designed item you get your regular 3.5 millimeter microphone jack and then your balanced uh, 2.5 millimeter output again here you get your power button your play pause and your uh, track forward track back kind of thing on this side and then on the other side you have your volume up and down which is really nice on the bottom you have your USB type C connector and the micro SD card slot uh, so let's go ahead and uh, power this baby up. Well, let me put a card in. Oh, I just I just started it up, so it's going to start up without a card in it. I don't know if it's going to complain that there's no card or not, but we'll see. Uh, so there, it wants me to choose the language, English, and it's pretty much booted up, ready to go. But as I said, there's no card in it, so I'm going to power this off and start over with a card in here. Okay, so let's boot this baby up once again. And go ahead and do a scan. See how long it takes. I got a 64 gig card in here. It is not completely full. It's probably two thirds of the way full. See it counting up the tracks here, and there we go. Takes a second for the album art to load in. See albums. There's an album list. Ah, oh, it's uh, it's going to be so nice to have a touch screen to be able to use. Start this playing here. On the side here, you do have uh, an LED, status LED. I believe this will change colors depending on the type of file you are listening to. And you swipe in from the sides, uh, all four sides, different things you get. Up, swipe up from the bottom. You get your, your track controls here. Swipe in, swipe in from the left, and you get you know settings and different EQ settings and all kinds of things like that. See, so swipe in from the right there, and you're going to get to your sort of album screen view, nice album artwork display, pay pause, it tells you this is a 16.4 FLAC file, uh, you know, track title, Tycho Glider, Do we swipe down from the top, swipe down from the top is your, your basic settings like any kind of uh, Android or Apple uh, OS kind of thing, you know, you're going to get your Bluetooth on and off, Wi-Fi on and off, Wi-Fi settings, airplane mode, whatever, 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 those kind of things. So yeah, let me get this plugged in and give it a listen. I'm excited. I'm going to start off with the ZSTs here from KZ. This is sort of my, my on-the-go, lightweight kind of quality setup here. I do not own any balanced headphones as of now, but definitely a potential thing in the future. So initial thoughts on the Hibby R3. I'm liking it a lot. As I said, it's kind of a Swiss Army knife of a device. It can be used as a digital audio player. You can use this as a DAC. It can wirelessly stream things. You can stream things back and forth from it to it. Uh, it, it does a lot. I'm sort of just now getting breaking into the surface of it. Uh, as you saw, there was a trying to do a, a firmware update on this to see what kind of if there are any kind of new features or fixes. Uh, I have to look into more what what that involves. It was downloading pretty slowly, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold off on the firmware update for right now. But so far, yeah, it sounds sounds really good. The touchscreen is really great, really responsive. It's very brilliant, very pretty to look at. 
Uh, the device itself is really pretty, really nice rounded corners. You know, you get glass on the front and the back. It's, it feels like a really premium device, uh, like the physical controls on the side. Yeah, there's a lot to like here for the price. I think it's, it's, a, it's a good deal. I don't have a lot of experience with these kind of players. As I said, I had the, the Fio X1 was my old player and I had an, I forget, they, they have a $50 player that's more of like really plasticky and small but sounded really good so if you wanted if you want to try something for fifty dollars there's a fio m10 or something maybe is the m m model uh, i'm not sure i have to maybe i can put a little uh <laughs> little thing down here letting you know that that model but if you look at the fio players and look at their low end uh it sounded sounded great the controls were a little clunky uh and it just didn't it didn't have the quality feel that you know this X1 or this uh, Fio or this uh, <laughs> Hibby R3 does. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this device. If you want me to try out different things, uh, let me know what you want to know about it. If you're curious about it, uh, let me know if you got one yourself. If you have any uh, tips or hints or anything to, uh, to help me get. Uh, get some better usage out of this but i'm gonna play around with this for a while get used to it get some more music loaded on here and uh so that's the hibby r3 unboxing first impressions definitely uh looking forward to getting into this some more hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up as i said leave some comments down below any questions you might have uh, about the device if you're curious about getting one i want to do some try and do some of these uh, reviews of some of these uh some of these budget headphones even though there are a lot of them a lot of them out there it's always great to have more opinions on these things one thing i did speaking of headphones one thing i did notice about this it doesn't seem to have the same amount of output power that the uh the Fio X1 does this this R3 was having a little bit of trouble powering these these on-ear uh, large these are 50 millimeter drivers in here it's having a little bit of power a little bit of trouble powering these I think didn't seem to be as punchy as the uh, X1 uh, but these in-ear monitors it drives them great sounds awesome with these in-ear drivers so I think this is going to be more of an in-ear kind of player it's a small compact player I think you're going to be using this more with a, with a with an in-ear kind of thing anyway that's that's typically my experience anyway so maybe not for some bigger more power hungry headphones uh but the in-ears sound great on this so that's that's sort of my first initial noticing of something that may may be a downside of this player it just doesn't have the power uh that some other ones do uh so that's gonna do it try and keep from making this long video a longer uh, thank you for watching as i said give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you're interested in hearing more about some some vinyl records or craft beer or anything like that i do a lot of different things here on the channel so thank you for watching have a great day a great night whenever it is you're watching this and we'll see you again real soon cheers